if you are using move it transfer to transfer files from end to your organization whether it is internal or external then you need to be aware of this new vulnerability which has just been found by progress this vulnerability has been discovered just few hours ago and you need to take action as soon as possible because this could lead to escalated privileges and unauthorized access to the environment so if you are using move it transfer then it is extremely important that you take immediate action as i'll be showing in this video step by step as what you need to do so to help prevent un unauthorized access to your move it transfer environment first and foremost you need to disable all http and https traffic to move it transfer on ports 80 and 443 so let me repeat you need to deny or disable all the traffic in your firewall rules on port 80 and 443. If you are using, for example, a virtual machine in a cloud like on EC2 instance in AWS, then go to your security group and remove um, the port 40, uh, port 80, and port 443 from those security groups if they are enabled. So, secondly, uh, you need to also be aware that until http and http traffic it is enabled again you won't be able to transfer or log into your web ui of your movie transfer also the movie automation task that use the native movie transfer host will not work rest java and .NET apis will not work move it transfer add-in for outlook will not work only thing which will work would be the SFTP and FTP protocol. And I think most of the companies are using just SFTP and FTP protocols and only SSH um, on port 22, 2022 is enabled, which is fine. Okay, the second step which you can, uh, which you must take is to check for any indicators or potential indicators of unauthorized access over the last at least 30 days. So two things you need to uh, be focusing on. First is the creation of any unexpected files, which could be like human2.aspx or similar files in your www root directory on all of your movie transfer instances, including the backup ones. Secondly, you need to keep an eye on any unexpected large file downloads. Once that's done, just wait for Move It to release the latest patch for it as their teams are working on it. And as soon as that patch is available, please put a patch in uh, and you can also register to get the notification around it. If you have any question, uh, I would suggest you to reach out to your account manager from Progress Move It team. I hope that this was useful. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section. Thank you.